So on this episode of Escaping Polygamy, it really focuses on my sister's escape. My sister Rachel is the sibling that is just older than me, and an interesting fact about her and I is that we are actually exactly one year, one month, and one day apart. She and I were very close growing up. It was interesting because it did kind of feel like she was one of the only ones I was able to be open and honest with and share my true feelings without um, being worried about her telling on me or getting in trouble. She and I both would do that with Amanda and Cami and talk with them a lot when they were still living at home with us, but once they ended up running away, it was just her and I for a while, and we had our younger siblings, of course, but for some reason, below me, a lot of the siblings, I guess maybe there was just a little more of an age gap or something, but it was very hard to talk about these types of things with any of the younger ones, because it felt very much like it's only for the older kids, or like, you know, kind of felt like, oh, you don't talk about those things around the kids in a way and so for some reason us being the older siblings it was just easier to talk about these types of things but with Rachel I was always able to and it was super nice. It was great to kind of see her perspective as well and um, just kind of watch how her life would play out and some of the reasonings of why she wanted to leave as well. Found out that my sister Rachel just thinking about leaving the order. Really? Yeah. Rachel wants to leave right now. We have to figure out a way to get her and her stuff out without her mom and the kids finding out. I feel like a lot of the siblings in my family were very logical about their reasoning of, of why they wanted to leave and what they would do, like kind of plan it all out. In Rachel's example, she did pretty decent at like having her concerns and bringing them up with Cammie and Amanda and wanting to make sure not only that this was going to be the best decision for her, but also how she could really succeed at taking this step in her life. And a big concern that she brings up is work and school. But with our older siblings leaving, there was already kind of like a red flag on top of Rachel and I. Like they were keeping a close eye on us, kind of making sure like we weren't going to be the next ones to leave, right? And so one of those things to really shelter us was to keep us around only order members and not letting us go off to college and be around other um, people our age that weren't members of the group. Rachel really wanted to go to college and they kept stopping her from doing that. My name is Rachel. I am the third oldest of 10 children. There's many reasons why I myself want to leave. Um, first of all, I'm not able to go to school. My dad doesn't allow me to go to school. Along with that and wanting to pursue whatever career that she wanted and not have to just be a teacher like most of the women in the group become, she wanted to be able to choose her own destiny. But you can really see she's still very young. She is, she did turn 18 recently. And in this clip, she's expressing how she always just thought that once she turned 18, she'd be out of there. But there's always more of a mental struggle and kind of a battle that happens within us, trying to figure out First of all, like we are working through making sure that this is the decision that we want. And then um, we have to fight off that fear of who knows what's going to happen. Is there going to be repercussions? Is it going to be as hard as like um, it's predicted that it might be and stuff like that? So there's a lot of mental things you have to work through to really prepare yourself. And it's really cool with Rachel because of Cammie and Amanda leaving and, and getting involved with helping people to leave. She really got to express and show some of her thoughts before she even left. She got to sneak out and, and like um, share these with the camera crew and with the people on Escaping Polygamy and get these um, thoughts, this whole thought process and, and um, what she was working through to make it all happen. And it's very clear that she wants to leave. It's not like she's debating necessarily if it's the right thing for her to do or not. She's just debating how she can make it the as successful as she wants and if there's like maybe an easier way or if there's other things that she needs to consider as she's preparing to do that and what's the best timing for it as well. My dad recently showed me a list of men for me to marry. On that list all of them were related to me and some were 20 years older than me. Oh, this part is really hard to see. She is so young and she's confused being in an occult environment, them trying to pressure you and convince you of certain things. She's afraid of it. She doesn't know if she can. She, you know, within us, when we're in the cult, a lot of the times our mindset is very negative and we degrade ourselves. We feel like we're not worthy to be able to live a greater life or that we don't have the opportunity or the ability, like we might not feel smart enough or confident enough to be able to succeeping you there's a lot of different things but 
Because I feel like if I do leave, like, where would I work and how would I even get a job? With Cammy and Amanda already being on the outside and knowing that they do have great opportunities, that there's so much potential that they can have, and any job that they want to work towards, they can. Before I thought, right when I turned 18, that I'd be gone, I'd be out of there, and now it's a little harder, you know? Now that I am 18, then I, I, you know, I'm still there, still in it. Something's still, some things are still holding me back. This is why it's not always easy leaving with the film crew. Like, it's amazing that we got to document our stories, but it was so much harder on those individuals to have a camera watching them and lots of people watching them with intensity, and it can just be a lot more overwhelming for sure. So I just know that this is tough and this is the downside to documenting it. As great as it is that we get to share our stories and be that example to show to others, it makes it harder. It would be much easier to just leave silently, plan it out, take the time that you need to truly prepare. One thing that I feel like outsiders often forget as well is the fact that living within this cult is our normal. It's our comfort zone. It's honestly the easiest path for us to stay with even though it might suck and from an outside perspective a lot of no outsiders would want to put up with that it would be the most horrible thing ever but when it's your own life and you've already gotten used to it and you've adapted to dealing with that it seems a lot easier it's something that you you at least know that you can cope with you can deal with it because you've been dealing with it and so staying in the cult oftentimes comes as a little bit of an easier um, thing to think about and it can be scary when you're considering seeking after something else and and wanting to take on a new path it's such a big thing to ask of them even though from an outside perspective you know they're going to love it you know in the long run they're going to gain so much from it they're going to receive so much freedom and opportunity and potential that they'll they'll never have within that group but they don't know that so when you talk to them as an if it's such an obvious decision they're not going to be able to see that and it's going to come off as you just being bold and direct rather than them understanding that you have a viewpoint that they can't see yet but it's like trying to explain someone something that they just can't comprehend because they've never understood it they've never known it yet they need time to discover that it's especially hard because in the order they teach you that family is everything so i feel like when you leave you're still constantly thinking about family so it helps a lot to be able to find a family on the outside or find relatives to be able to reconnect with and still feel that similar um, love from others and for me personally, when I've gone and done that, I've found it to be even more refreshing knowing that the family on the outside that choose to love me and to want to spend time with me, there's no incentive behind it. They're not putting on faces. They're not acting. They're not willing to just turn me away if I d decide to have a different belief or lifestyle. They're not going to just disown me like the order member family will. And so it's almost a more meaningful relationship because you know that they are there out of true and pure your love for you and I feel like that goes a long way so for Rachel's actual escape she decided to try and leave in the middle of the night I really need to talk to her and ask her how she decided this specific day and why she chose in the middle of the night rather than at a time when all the family would be out of the house which I mean in the middle of the night still can work because there, they would all be asleep and as long as you're quiet I suppose nobody would necessarily stop you but I feel like that's a little bit higher risk of someone hearing it and trying to stop you like finding out what's going on versus the chances of someone coming home from church early or coming home from an event and, and running into you and trying to stop you yeah I really want to ask her what caused her to choose that specific time <laughs> Hello? Hey, hey, I just have a super quick question for you. Was there a particular reason why your escape yeah, was at night? You know how you could stay and like leave and stuff? Mom watched the girls a lot more. Like with me, oh, yeah. I couldn't leave church and I couldn't just say I was going to stay home most of the time. Mm -hmm. so I literally left in the middle of the night because that was the only option I thought I had. It was because dad was only gone for one week. He was on the honeymoon with... Oh, yeah. So he was out of town. This is the best time to leave because dad's out of town. But yeah, her escape was very intense. If you've watched the episode, she leaves in the middle of the night and our sister Amanda even ends up climbing into the window with her and helping to hand the boxes out the window. Rachel just sent me a text. She's ready. Can you careful? Okay, Rachel, let's go. Thank you. 
and they were very stealthy. They did it just really quick. There was a lot of people helping, so they, I think, probably the day before, she was, like, secretly getting most of her stuff packed and taken care of, um, and then just got it all out the window, and I'm sure it was similar for her, just like for me, um, that we both had to leave a lot of stuff behind, so when we what we are packing is generally stuff that we think is extremely important, all the stuff we really want to take with us, and we don't care so much about taking a lot of the small things. We leave a lot of stuff behind, first of all, so we don't have to pack them so it doesn't look suspicious when we're getting things ready. She was probably a bit, very nervous though too, I would imagine. Leaving in the middle of the night like that, that's got to be scary. It's so nice to see my sister Rachel excited for a new chapter in her life. Did you bring your camera? Yeah, I got it in my trunk. I have a surprise for you. Now that Rachel's out, she's still trying to find out who she is, and she's trying to figure out how to fit into this new culture. And so I want her to experience life. So I set up this workshop with a photographer because I know she's into photography. But she's so fresh out that that's such a vulnerable time right now. There's been a lot that's happened since she's left. I'm so excited to share her story with you all, and that'll be coming soon. But And that was my sister Rachel's escape. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.